A two-month-old calf is alive tonight, thanks to the quick thinking of good Samaritans. Some Athens farmers jumped into action when they realized the calf fell through a frozen pond and couldn't get out on its own. New Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now with the story. Alyssa. Good evening, Josh and Latricia. Jenny Dake tells me that all she wanted to do was just stop at a pond in Athens to take picture of the beautiful snow and scenery, but instead she saw a two-month-old calf in an ice-covered pond struggling to stay alive. With snow on the ground and ice frosting over the leaves, you can see why Jenny Dake stopped to take in the scenery until she saw something that made her go into a panic. The poor calf was, it was in a circle of ice, surrounded by ice, and just swimming, trying to keep its head up. It um, would almost go down, but then it come back up, so <clears throat> it was a little frightening. Jenny says she couldn't believe what she saw when she saw that little calf trying to get out of that frozen pond. She knew she needed to help him, but she didn't know how. So that's when she called in reinforcements who brought in a tractor and a lasso to help get that little guy out. One of those reinforcements was her uncle, Foster Bohannon. Well, it was just about gone. It was just circling round and around in this little hole about five feet through and uh, it would go down a time or two and then it would just pop back up and just barely his head sticking up. With the help of a few friends, a tractor and a lasso. I roped the calf out at that spot right out there. They pulled the calf to safety with Jenny standing by catching the whole thing on camera. I just started watching and then I thought I should get my camera and start taking pictures. And we went over and started rubbing on the calf along with my another cousin, Cody, just trying to get it warm, trying to get it moving. and um, Leaving the small Athens community with a story to pass on for generations. Whenever I get older, have my grandchildren, I'll be able to tell them all the stories that I've had on the farm. It's just another memory. And that calf is now at a heated barn inside McMinn County High School, where it is now being part of its agricultural program. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. Okay, Alyssa, thank you.